So, hello everyone, Anime and Yan here, and today uh, we have something special. Uh, we have an interview. Uh, we are very privileged to have an interview with It's Gurglis. So, Gurglis, uh, I've known him for a little bit uh, from the NSFW Blender server, and he's just an amazing guy overall. And he, he kindly offered to uh, take an interview on the world of NSFW art and just uh, answering some questions. Um, so, thank you so much, Gurglis, for coming in today. Um, no problem. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, so if you have a look at this uh, this year, so he's he's a artist on Twitter, and yeah, he has thirty three point one k followers. Um, and well, he, he does he would very much appreciate your support. So if you want to commission him or you want to uh, support him on Patreon, please feel free to do so. Um, so it's it's just it's Gurglis on uh, Twitter. So feel free to search that up in Google and to give him your support because he is a beautiful beautiful man and artist. So, uh, without further ado, we'll just get started with the interview. So, Gurglis, uh, can you tell me a little bit about yourself to the people who might not know you, and what do you do in general? When I explain these things, I usually like to have a brief history of mm -hmm. how I got here. So, I won't go too much detail, but All good. Uh, yeah. long story short, if we go back a little bit, um, I go back to Tumblr days, basically. <laughs> so I go back all the way to, I started doing this roughly around when Overwatch started and Tracer was the, the big, big thing of the internet. So uh -huh. I jumped into Source Filmmaker there, but before I even found Blender and Discover with, I actually was finishing college for people who don't know, but for people in Australia, it's TAFE. So I'll yeah. say college, so it's just less confusing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I ended up graduating college with a diploma of film and television because I had this ideology that I wanted to be a film director, but the uh, course was way too rushed. I, I didn't like it at the end, but towards the end, the class got a motion capture studio, like a proper one in the campus. Yeah. And uh, to my surprise and the irony of fate, how fate works, Blender was one of the softwares that popped up uh -huh. um, as one of the, the motion capture relation of the software, or at least a part of the pipeline. And I remember using Blender at some point when I was way younger. I think it was roughly around 14, 15. I remember briefly as, using it, but that was way back when Blender was in its really early stages. As part of high school or like just like just in part general? Of high school. Not a part of high school, it was just out of curiosity. Really. Uh-huh, gotcha. Yeah. And so it kind of re-triggered something in my head and I just basically left it and then just dived deep further into it, started making my own first Overwatch content. Uh, in Source Filmmaker and discovered that I, I guess this was kind of something I wanted to do and I just kept going with it. Then moved from there to Blender, started meeting some really awesome people that I'm still friends mm -hmm. with this day. It's everything from Yiro to Mets to some you know, <laughs> veteran artists that are either still around or, or not around as much anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, you got Alois, you know, a, a bu bunch of guys. I met heaps of people on the way, but. Uh, I used to be a Tumblr, re I'm a Tumblr, they call a Tumblr refugee. I was an <laughs> artist for there. I got I had my first 10k followers before the whole nuke happened and moved on to Twitter from there. But uh, in a nutshell, I'm a, I'm a uh, NSFW Blender artist yep. who pr mainly specializes in a lot of technicality of Blender and some other softwares such as the Unreal Engine. Everything from rigging to coding to... Um, yeah, pretty yep. pretty much those multi talented. <laughs> yeah, the more the more the more technical detail of it, and hence why I've got that. Usually, I'm the go to guy when people want rigs or, or models done up because it's it's very technical knowledge and technical heavy. Mm -hmm. Um, and I actually got into that through Mets because I still remember the yep. time in Tumblr we had and streamed to uh Picado. I think it's Picado TV. Picado TV. Yeah, 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 like yeah, and. I would stream with him all the time and a couple of times with Euro as well. It was, oh, I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and basically everything I know about rigging these days and even, even a bit of Python language as well. We would have from Mets? Through him. Mets, yeah. yeah. Damn. That um, awesome. So I happen to, I've got to thank Mets for that because that was really cool because I, I, was, I was in everyone else's the same boat. Like rigging is a, such a hair puller. It is, it is a very difficult yeah. thing when you don't know what you're doing, but for me it's 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 gone from pulling out my head to now literally just doing it in my sleep <laughs> <laughs> wow it's, it's so good but yeah i'm i'm the kind of uh, yeah i'm the kind of artist that that sort of 
I don't appeal to a particular audience like most other so artists. So you just do. like just sort of try everything, a little bit of everything. I try everything, yeah. But mm -hmm. major I think majority of the content I do is mainly Destiny, followed by Overwatch, followed by maybe some Borderlands and a couple other things that my brain tends to go off sometimes. Just whatever you like at the time? Or Pretty much whatever <laughs> yeah. I like, yeah. It's, that's, that's all it is. And so, yeah, from the Tumblr to Twitter and Twitter to there and so Twitter to now. Um... So in a nutshell, yeah, I'm just a basically an artist that just does what he loves to do. Um, That's great to hear. You know, stuff like that. I just do. I just think of an idea in my head and just do it. You know, or if I find references that I like, I just mm -hmm. go and make it, and I and I reward my patrons with a higher quality version, and you know, post it just a slightly lower resolution version in public. It's it's more just giving me the freedom of. Um, yeah. Doing what you want, yeah. yeah. Doing basically, uh, yeah. I'm the one that like, sort of like does what I want to do, and then people support me, for, like whether or not if they want to or not. Like I don't have to worry too much about you know, pe you know, appealing a particular audience. But like, like Overwatch, like, every, like yeah, yeah. Like, like don't get me wrong. There's heaps of good artists out there with Overwatch and stuff like that. But um, I, I like to think I like to think my my artwork, especially, is a bit of a niche of. Uh, yeah, I guess more focusing purely on the girls, um, yeah. girls on solo, like solo girls mostly, not not involving two two guys or another guy. It's it's purely focused on the girls. I think my patrons have even said that too. They they have really subscribed <laughs> to my content purely just for that to see the girls only, like no no, or if it's more purely just the girls basically. Gotcha, and, gotcha. Which I agree, I I do agree. Um, it's something that I've always meant. but yeah, like I said before, it's. Yeah, it's. It, yeah. I, I am. I am on the creative side of making my own artwork and content, but yep. I, I specialize a lot more because it's a lot more of my niche on the technical side, such as like Python programming and Blender and Unreal Engine coding and stuff like that. So it's because it, it tickles my fancy. I'm more on that side, but um, yep. I'm focusing on you know also building up my foundation of my creative side too. So it's a bit of both worlds. Just learning, uh, yeah, like le just continually building upon your skills. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think in every artist's perspective, they're always learning. I don't think, I they say the sky is the limit, but I really don't think so. If if I think it's infinite, it's yeah. just like this universe. It's infinite. Every artist always at least trying to find some way of improving. I still remember the time I found my 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 initial spark of going from the the old quality of my content to my new one was just through a literally I went through a Photoshop tutorial trying to look for something about skin glow it's like oh how do i make the skin glow and then i found this indian guy i think everyone people a lot of people know um that does a lot of photoshop i think i know who you're talking about i think i know yeah, who yeah, you're yeah. talking about I've, I've, him. <laughs> I've got his name i've got his name yeah and i was like oh i'll try this and then it just worked and then i'm like this actually kind of bangs and then yeah and then i just, just added it to your own there. work now, now i've just found a particular niche and workflow that just works every time and i'm just like yeah i'm pretty happy with this but it doesn't stop me from trying to improve yeah, you know, yeah. I'm I'm always at the moment. It's for me, at least, anyway. It's it's now coming to the process of how can I make my workflow the same but f kind of faster, so yeah. I'm not spending so much tedious times. So like I've said before, I'm thinking about ways such as automating my uh, keyframes and stuff like that in Blender, mm -hmm. where that's automatically smooth and for me. Gotcha, gotcha. So, well, the curves so you, for the curves for each keyframe, I guess. So you've kind of got like your workflow down because like a lot of artists, like I assume. Uh, just still trying to like figure out what like an efficient way to do like well, well not an efficient way just a way to do animation way, yeah, yeah or like I've renders been doing this yeah for what six years now yeah you're definitely a better <laughs> veteran <laughs> in the I've been NSFW veteran, community. basically yeah i've been doing this for a very long time so I, yeah it's it's taken me a while the, th the, the biggest advice i always give people that's new artists is like don't be afraid to try new things and don't be afraid like see see the bigger guys whether it's myself or people with as an inspiration rather than you know because yeah because something to compare ages, yourself to. to yeah 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 they took ages to get to that destination i mean yeah some people do grow quicker than others because they can appeal to a different niche or a different market of because every every i guess you could say every part of the nsfw content community has its own audience mm -hmm. and generally speaking there are some audiences which you have to de de develop into i guess you could say in in more interesting content to attend to them and stuff like that yeah i'm yeah. not going to say specifically but yeah it's 
you know you need to kind of make yourself non- unique yeah I yeah, guess. yeah it's you yeah yeah it's like see the album as inspiration but not so much as like like it worked for them but just don't think it'll work for you it could it could not it really depends but ev- it takes a little while to develop your portfolio and your foundation for yourself but like i said i've been doing this for years now so it's become just completely automatic yeah and but i think sense. also the big thing as well is just to never give up like if there's something that you want to improve on when it comes to your content just just go for keep, it just, yeah keep like going at it the one that gives you the response for it like it's it doesn't hurt it's it's it, you can just try it and see what happens you'll be quite surprised yeah so another question for you so like how did you discover your love of like nsfw content like why did you, how did you know that you wanted to do like nsfw renders and stuff like that like when did you first kind of think probably purely just horny really <laughs> <laughs> um i can understand that i can understand that <laughs> yeah it, it, it's sort of you sort of, it's i think it's giving the 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 brain the creativity to do it like yeah i'm a, like the thing with me the big advantage with me is i'm a stupidly a quick learner yeah and i'm a very adaptive learner too so i can even take the knowledge from someone else's learnt or i've learnt too and combine them just just like combine the two and then adapt it my own way yeah so i've been a very, i've had a lot of time in my hands to learn these things and i'm a more self-taught too yeah um you have t- even, taken anything even, official like for like blender or like any or like 3d uh i started i started with everything of the rite of passage of the blender donut tutorial that was always my first go-to i've got a very quick and adaptive mindset so i can learn very quickly and i've kind of always this kind of goes back to the roots of when I was younger. I think I've always just had a niche for computer technology to begin with. Yeah. And like, I remember when I was back and I used to live back on the farm, there was, yeah, my, my dad was running his business and he would always have problems with his laptop, but for some reason- And you'd be the one to tech solve it? You've got this 10 year old that somehow just does this black magic <laughs> and just makes it work again. And he's just like, what the hell? You're 10. Like, so in a way, I've just had a knack for technology. <laughs> knack for it, yeah. So and then I've just sort of grown up on it, and then I'm thinking, and then and like I, I was, I was like with every new artist, I saw people growing off of it, and it seemed like a market that would look really good to jump in. Like it was, you know, with Overwatch being this big, massive game, and yeah, and just be like, yeah, the porn like, coming you know, out I of it. Thinking, <laughs> what I'm thinking, holy shit, you know. And and seeing the, the possibility of artists getting money through page, it, it it looked like it looked like an opportunity I just could not miss, you know. Despite being you know horny and stuff like that, it, yep. was, it still affects me to this day. <laughs> but more or less, I do stops see you from it. doing your work. <laughs> yeah, the funny thing is, if I do to kind of get turned on from my own work, if I get turned on from my own work, it means I'm doing a really good job. Um, but uh, so that you know, know it's, it's good. still. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, my love for the NSFW content, I think it's also not only because of the content, but the people that I've met are probably the most like generous, kind hearted people. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, it's just a vibe to vibe with them and just share around ideas and collaboration as well is probably the, another really yeah. cool thing as well. I found like um, people did that same thing. Like people are really open to like teach you stuff. Yeah, yeah. They are serious. Like it caught me by surprise so much when I when I first met these people. It was just it was just insane. I was like, wow, you're like more generous than the people that I see outside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like oh my gosh, so, like even my own commissioners. Like I get some pretty weird ones, but they are the fucking. They're like like the most patient, most nice. It is just, it's just insane. It's a nice vibe, it's, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, and and again, it was just a particular niche and market that looked like it was ripe for harvesting. So I just jumped on board and was like, yep. All right, "Well, let's just see where it takes me." And here's here, what six years later, here I am. Here you are. Yeah. Here I am doing this. Pretty successful, know. I'd say. Yeah. Uh, it's somewhat a bit slow, but you know. Well, you you still have like full as a full time job, so definitely so almost almost. almost. There's a few. There's a, yeah, it's I still need to support myself somewhat outside. Yeah, but it, it, this I would say this would cover at least seventy percent of like income and looking after myself, like with the commissions and Patreon and stuff. So it, it's it's pretty relaxing just to be at home and just just go away and just you know, it's working from home is probably the best thing, especially working on this sort of stuff because yeah. I've been working on it for so long. But I'm always excited to see what news coming out and ways to you know innovate, improve, and yeah. make things and improve. And I'm very very looking forward to 
things that come along into the content world, which allows us to make content in a much more efficient way. Efficient, yeah, efficient way because three D is still kind of it kind of there. Well, it's with Blender. It's kind of trying to be the jack of all trades, and but it's not quite caught up to a lot of the industry standard programs. Yeah. But um, as you can see, for a freeware, it is it is it's pretty free. yeah, yeah. For free software. It's pretty damn good. For I me. mean, you can't complain. <laughs> it's free, so yeah, yeah. I mean, I do complain, but I have to give it some decency because it's free. So, <laughs> <laughs> so my, my my complaining about it's pretty invalid. But the, okay. just the and it's just the way that you can just and and as being a programmer and a programmer coder as well, how I mm-hmm. can just be like, oh, that's right, I can just write up a script to run it through the program for me, so I don't have to worry about clicking the yeah, the scripting engine, it's, yeah, it's really good in Blender. Yeah, it's it's, it's freaking amazing. I love it. Very accessible. But yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pre- mainly Horny just got in, and Horny and Curiosity really. That's how it got me started. Gotcha, gotcha. Is there anything like now that you're doing it that you felt like didn't really like? meet your ex- initial expectations or different to your initial expectations? I kind of dove deep into this with almost no expectations at all. Mm-hmm. All, I, all I had was a simple mindset of, okay, artwork equals followers and better artwork equals more followers and animation equals more followers. Yeah. Uh, I kept it simple, really. I didn't, I didn't have it. I was like, I, and I don't know. I'm, I'm, a very, I'm a very big nerd when it comes to statistics. Yeah. Um, so, so it makes you happy I, when you see yeah, more yeah. followers so and when stuff. I see more, and then when I see more, like it's like it's more of like a calling card of, okay, this works, this doesn't work, this does work, this doesn't work, this doesn't work. You just you're just throwing shit at the wall to see what sticks. Gotcha. gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Basically, and that's how I approach this pretty much when I first dive into. It. I just said, let's throw this at it, 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 and then eventually you just figure out what sticks. And then you go, okay, that's working. Then that's how I'll just keep going with that. And then eventually you just, it just builds and gets there. Mm-hmm. I know that a lot of like initial like people who are trying to get into NSFW, they really see like the amount of money that people make and they're like, like, oh yeah, it's really easy to make like a ton of money from NSFW content. If you just make NSFW mm. like uh, images or like animations like Euro, it'll be like, like, I don't know, earning like a hundred K a year. Like, do you think that kind of expectation is realistic or like, what, what do you think it's- about that? It's not as as a, as a person as a friend of Euros. I do talk to him quite often. Mm-hmm. Um, he he's a he's a very he's a very busy boy. Uh, <laughs> he's a very busy boy, and a lot of the time, and and not just Euro too. There's a couple others like uh, friends of mine, like Baron Strap, who, and, and um, sorry, sorry, my other friends, if you're listening, <laughs> I, 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 my brain's not working half of today. <laughs> like just like. <laughs> Isolating them. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I'm sure they'll forgive you. Yeah, I, it's going back to what I said. Uh, it probably wasn't in this interview, but yeah, it's you start seeing things more as a as a business perspective mm-hmm. rather than just wow, look at these big numbers. It depend. It always comes down to the country. It always comes down to your situation. It always comes down to everything. Because in the end, you you are still in a formality you are still running your own business yeah like it's still you're running your own business sort of thing so when when people have this uh uh ideology and i think it's mainly a trick with patreon and stuff like that too because it does come down to the creator whether or not they want to post their uh yep. earnings publicly but i think it also comes down to the fact that i think patreon is also its own business module where it's like hey here's this really famous artist with this getting much income it's also attracting people to their platform because then they make money and yeah it's a so they only, you only see like the best like i'd say like yes, the biggest but, like like for example this big commission that i'm working on it's, it's i'm getting paid a you know a big chunk sum a big chunk sum of money but the problem is well not the problem but the thing is that i have to take into account of the voice actors I have to take an account to the audio editor. Yeah. And then for like a, almost a sole seven minute animation, I have to fork about 25, maybe 30% out of that income yeah. to pay for them. So you start seeing things more of as a business perspective rather than look how much money I earn. Cause I think that's a really bad way to look at it. Cause if you look, I think if you look at the other big popular boys, yeah. they've, they've spent a lot of time getting there. They spent, but, but you can compare it to some other people as well. And like Euro, for example, he mainly contains to Overwatch. And Overwatch yeah. already has a big audience to begin with. But if, and the thing about Euro is he, he can 
he can sort of have a little bit of lead way in terms of his animation. Yeah, yeah. So he's he can do because every time he does it. bring out animation, it's always bang it like it's really high quality. So the expectation sort of evens out for people. So it's like we know he's taking a while, and you know he doesn't post, but the the end result is always going to be really good. Yeah, and he's carved out his own niche, I'd say. Yeah, he's carved out his own niche, but then again, he has probably expenses of his own. So out of the maybe whatever six thousand dollars or something that he gets a month in Patreon. He would probably only be keeping maybe four thousand, three thousand, maybe half of that. I don't know. I, yeah. I know. I'm not him, but it's. I can just say from my perspective on the commission side, it's the the numbers talk in a way, but they it's not the realistic result. Yeah. Um. And I've seen people dive in a little a little too deep too early when they start. They it's. Go straight for the money, or kind of yeah, thing. they just straight for the money and stuff like it's it's not as simple as that. You don't start up a business and then start like I don't know what do, what do you do once you start franchising? <laughs> yeah, 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 it's, yeah. It's, it's it's a bad move. You need to build because like nobody knows you. you to, nobody knows. Yeah, you yeah. need to build a clientele. You need to be a client base. It's it's the exact same here. You need an audience to attend to, and you need clientele of some sort. Then you can start like you know commissions and patreon and yeah. you can start really getting once you start getting that that noticeable and stuff like that then you can start working that in gotcha. but just i think it's just more realistic if you keep expectations for these sort of things low, low because yeah, yeah it's you you because mainly because of the two key words free market yeah <laughs> it is still a market and every and since every market has well up dips and dips and ups so You'll have a month of, like, for me, like, I'll have a month of, like, really low commissions or really low patrons. And, but the next month, it will be, like, through the roof. Yeah. So yeah. it's usually, like, a, a money flow sort of thing. So, but the thing is, you have to think about whether you want to make this a hobby or a full-time thing. There's people that yep. tend to get that little bit confused. Yeah. So they're like, okay, hobby, you can be a bit more relaxed because maybe you have another job that covers most of your stuff and stuff like that. And you just want to earn a bit of money on the side. That's fine. But if you want to commit to a full-time thing, you'd have to treat it a little bit more serious and treat it more as an actual your own business thing. And you have to be like consistent and all that, like all the things that you would yeah. apply to a regular job. Yeah, if, like, um, even your own hardware, you have to consider that in too. Mm -hmm. like the, the, rendering, the rendering power, the, the time you need to spend on the computer, it, 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 it all comes into play. Gotcha, yeah. So you need to think about, you know, it's, yeah, it depends on the person. But yeah, when you dive into it normally, I think a, a good approach would just to be, to try and treat it as a hobby first and then see where it goes. If it goes really well, then maybe you can just take it as a business or something like that. Who yeah. knows? Like I, I wasn't expecting to get myself this far. But um, yeah. <laughs> I'm still, this is more becoming a business now for me because commissions are consistent and you know, a lot of, a lot of my coverage, you know, I'm actually just doing work from home now. Like it's, it's become that much of a business thing, but I still have that missing gap side of, I'm um, still needing coverage for, you know, the bills and, you know, taxes yeah. and all the other yeah. crap that comes with it. So it's in a way, it, yeah. Living is expensive it, it's, in Australia. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's just when you look at big, big boy with big numbers, it's, it's not the full picture. Not it's, 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 it's not the full gotcha. picture. It's because it's like, they probably would have taken ages to get there. They may have come from an animating background. Mm -hmm. um, personally, it's, it's always good to go through their stuff to see where they come from. Or yeah, it's yeah, it's there's a yeah because they might have context. industry experience and other stuff. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, some industry experience, some just naturally good at it. It's there's a lot of factors in, but yeah, when they see big numbers, it's just it's not really. It's good and it is bad. It, it, it just like with everything in life, it has its bad. It has its trade off. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, gotcha. like I like for me, I'd be getting my like I said this this big commission, but the thing is, I have to spend time rendering this thing, which is going to cost me money. Costing the money for the voice actor, costing money for the audio editor. Yep. The, there's sense. a lot that goes in. So by the time I even pay all of that off. And you have to organize all of it as well, like yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yes. it's, it's become a complete business module at this point. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. So just had another question. So I see that you have 33.1K followers. <laughs> I was just wondering, like, what advice would you give to somebody who really wants to grow their brand? Or like once that start that first step that you were saying? like of like before like they do commissions or dive into the money side of things like how could they grow their business like especially with tumblr now not really allowing nsw content like what, what do you suggest that they would do if like you're a beginner artist 
Definitely join the NSFW Blender server. That's one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the promotion. <laughs> Not selling out. Um, no problems. Oh, that's that. That's a good question. I think. I th I think baby steps is a pretty good approach because mm -hmm. um, Blender is a very. I still remember the first time I started Blender. It was like a NASA space computer to me. Like, yeah. How the hell do you operate this? Yeah, it's so many workspaces, so many different um, things. I'd I'd recommend I definitely recommend crash courses. Like that is super useful. Yeah. Crash yeah. courses, whether it be uh the online courses or going through YouTube Blender tutorials. Gotcha, uh, gotcha. I, I'd probably kind of recommend more of the crash courses than I do the YouTube tutorials. People say, Oh, well, crash courses cost money. But yeah, the funny thing is the people that do, do the crash courses that actually work in the industry. Yeah, and so they're organized. Pretty much yeah, up well. to date with what's going on. So hence why, like when I when I discovered Unreal Engine for coding and that, I just took like two crash courses on that and and uh, that that really kept me up to speed. Um and just basically I think connecting is probably another good thing too. Um, yeah. Like getting mentors you know, kind of thing. Yeah, mentors are just, or just reaching like, out. Yeah. Friends. reaching out to people um, i mean uh, you probably won't be able to reach out to the bigger guys because they don't respond because they got their own thing going on well they got so many people messaging them so <laughs> yeah it's understandable. Too, so yeah it really comes down but i think but if you if you take out all those commissions and just say the crash course and you're sort of going in solo uh yeah um yeah baby steps uh connecting yeah crash courses makes sense That's basically, basically yeah. just just just, ex just experiment understand the basic fundamentals of the software knowing how to pose a character knowing the <laughs> basics of lighting and then just let your brain take control of the creativity from there and just start doing just whatever you you whatever suits you gotcha what, but whatever yeah. yeah post on twitter post on any of the social media platforms as much as you can yeah the, the more the merrier and i think you'll you'll realize when you get to a point of follow account that you realize you'll end up finding your post or your content on other sites without you posting it. That's when you truly know you've made it. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much, I would say, uh, crash courses, tutorials, get yourself known for, get yourself uh, knowledge for the basic foundation of Blender yeah. or any, any 3D, it doesn't have to be Blender specifically, it can be any 3D, 3D software. And then once you've got the hang of it and you're confident, then you can just start experimenting basically and just seeing what sticks, take, take others' artworks as inspiration and just be like, stuff like that. And if they're more generous to tell you like, this is how we do it and stuff like that, then, then by all means. Learn from them, yeah. Yeah, so it's, um, yeah, that's, that's a pretty, pretty, pretty good way of, uh, of approaching it. Just um, go, go where the crowd is, I guess. <laughs> Wherever the crowd is, be, be a part of the crowd. Gotcha. And then try and stick yourself out that way, whether it's Twitter or Tumblr. Tumblr does accept NSFW again, if I do believe. But I think artists don't want to go back. But they don't want to go back, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Twitter, Reddit, any of the Reddit forums. Um, yeah, Rule 34, like, there's, there's heaps. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it, basically, yeah, Crash Course, pretty much what I just said. And don't don't worry too much about quantity quantity is good but i think people do definitely stick around more of the quality, quality there yeah. as well to try and yeah. improve your art and like make sure that they like want to stick around i guess feel free to still ask for feedback as well but just just understand that it's feedback from the the artist's perspective of them it's not exactly it doesn't exactly necessarily meet your needs if it doesn't need to like it's it's just feedback. Like I know some artists take it a bit too legit, um, yeah. but just just remember that that's that's if you ask an artist or someone that's got a foundation like myself or anyone with a foundation like yeah, um, just just remember it's feedback. It's not. Yeah. It's just from our eyes. From it wouldn't be like what we would do. It's like we would just go. Oh, our feedback is basically just like oh, this is what what I would do if yeah. I was doing this, but not doesn't have to. And don't have to go with it. So. Yes. Yeah, and your audience will not to anything. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Can, like is I think the, the right big yeah. thing is definitely connection. If if you want to grow quite rapidly and quite quickly, I think it's good to try and connect with um, bigger artists or, or in, in the form of, depending on what you do, just connect with the community that, or the audience that is there 
and get your name out there that way. Like whether it's joining public Discord servers of a particular niche, like whether it be Overwatch, not 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 their official servers. Don't don't go there. Overwatch, <laughs> don't point, Overwatch point, porn yeah. or uh, League of Legends porn, or if they have any dedicated servers for that, then just get yourself out the way as much as you can. It is a bit of a hassle. Yeah, but uh, it, it, people will notice eventually. Take that from me. I, I've spent many attempts trying to get my art to where it is again, but you will hit a... Instead of hitting a wall, you'll hit a bunch of feathers and you'll realize that the, that bunch of feathers is the... the uh, How can you call it? Like it's the firework that, yeah. you know, the fire, firework that went off and that's the thing that clicked and everybody likes that. So you, you go, oh, okay, so it worked. It's, it's ma- basically just an experiment. Yeah, get your, get your solid foundation down of understanding of how Blender works or, or any of the 3D software works and then start experimenting from there. And gotcha. then just throwing things at the wall and just seeing, seeing what sticks. Thank you so much. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. What I got from that is like experiment a lot, just uh, and get your name out there, just connect with others. Mm. I think they're all, all really good lessons, not even just for NSFW content. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, because yeah. the, the, I think another thing as well is even for me, um, I've noticed a really good uh, um, trick. Well, not really a trick, but uh, it's still a bit of a dice roll depending on the person. But um, I think get along with the 2D artists as well because if you use their references, especially of popular ones, I've noticed I've gotten retweets from them. Yeah. Popular ones of 2D artists and, put it, and you put a character similar to theirs or whether it's an OC or a video game character, and then usually just credit them or even message them and say, hey, I used your reference. And a lot of the time I get retweets from them. Yeah. 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 Or, it's, and, and, or if you They'll use it, models yeah. or stuff like that. Like if you use models for whether it's from SmartBase or from the artists, like if you're using a reference of some sort, whether it be models, assets of some sort, you'd be surprised if you just tag them and they see it. You'll be quite surprised the chances of them retweeting and promoting you, giving your followers is kind of high. Like I had an OnlyFans girl retweet my thing one recently. <laughs> like that, cool. that, that's how high it can get. <laughs> that's really really cool. I, I, yeah. So just like so a few like two more questions really to to end this off on. So just a quick fun question. So what what's your favorite piece that you think you've worked on, like animation or uh, images wise? Oh, that's. that's... <laughs> I would probably have to say uh, it was pretty recent on my timeline. It was mm-hmm. the recent Brig, uh, Brigitte. How do you pronounce the name? Brig? Brigitte? Brigitte on Overwatch? I, Bridget, no, I don't know. Brig, I don't know, actually. No. Brig, or Brig, well, basically, Brig. Yep. Um, yeah, that one, was, that one was a lot of fun to work on, and the reference was awesome. Yeah. Um, and it just, just the pose, the way it looks natural, and it's, it's very appealing to the human eye. That one turned out unbelievably well. Um, it, it's just, it's always surprising to see stuff that uh, you work on. You just think, and, and it just, it's just all start clicking together. And it's always just a bunch of fun to work on. Um, I, I'm very impressed by that one. But another one that I absolutely was so funny to work on yep. <laughs> uh, was the Kiriko Donut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not the up. animation, not the oh. animation, but the, the uh, render image of it. <laughs> yeah, the blender donuts, one, the classic that red was, blender uh, That one was a lot of fun to work on. Um, it was it's because it was just it copied the idea from this trend going around roughly around the same time where it was a, it might have been another OnlyFans girl. I wouldn't be surprised at this point. I, it was some girl on the internet on Twitter where yeah. she had she had burger buns and the meat for the burger buns was in between her tits, so the, <laughs> the, top, the top one and the bottom one underneath the, about the uh, where the under boob is that's like i saw the, so when i saw the kiriko cinematic i was like okay she's into donuts so how do i approach this <laughs> donuts in a similar way I, and then i was like yeah i'll just just have her, her just her shirt up and then just the tits straight onto the plate and then just pretend like she's just squibbing serving them up the, <laughs> yeah yeah and then just putting it up there there was there was an idea to put breast milk as well, but I didn't really go with it. Gotcha, <laughs> so gotcha. I just, just just went with that. But yeah, I've I think in a general, it's uh, I think those two are my top favorites to be honest because they're pretty memorable ones. Like, yeah, I didn't beautiful and go that crazy. I mean, I do have more crazy animations as well, but in terms of I prefer my images more because it allows me to get more creative. Um, and Blender, when it comes to animation, can be a little finicky when it 
it, it tends to sort of ruin it a bit by like um especially during the rendering stage I, I don't i can't stress how much that this this software has been a little bit buggy when it comes to rendering especially when it comes to animation yep. where physics breaks or something just stupid breaks it's, it kind of pees me off so it throws me off a bit more but in terms of creativity of creating an image definitely those two have to be in my absolute favorite because of the the sheer innovation <laughs> and creativity. Just, just everything being so casual like and and, and crazy almost crazy at the same time so yeah it's like so casual yeah. the way she like lays them out it's just like she's like serving an order of donuts by itself <laughs> yeah yeah it was madison like yeah, i had i had those plates initially flat yeah but, uh, madison was like hang on she that, that, they need to wait so they need to be angled up a bit so so i made it look like she actually looks like you know the breasts have weight so it's like, yeah, they're pressing down on plate. the plates yeah, yeah on the plates and well the, there is milk there spilt everywhere it looks it, I, I pretty much lit up the scene like she's just she's like a useless <laughs> not really useless but like you know yeah um you know it's a mess because like yeah <laughs> she's not so good of a cream and crispy cream and just in case you know because <laughs> i didn't want to like i was still a bit worried about copyright even when, <laughs> even yeah, when it yeah. comes to making this sort of content <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah there was a lot of photoshop work uh put into that not not a whole lot um but but which parts out of glow, curiosity? uh a lot of the glow a lot of the skin glow uh so a bit, a bit on the eyes but her, her badge was actually photoshopped Oh, that, it, that actually looks really good. Like, I can't even yeah, tell. Yeah, badge is actually Photoshop. It's actually in Photoshop. Um, so I rendered out a blank white tro uh, white rectangle and yep. then found some PNGs on the internet and yeah, found a donut PNG and then just blended it in. And I found some, I did a gradient overlay, which is what that pink stripes are for over yep, on it. I see so that, I see that. a mask. And then Kiriko I just typed it in text and then just blended it all in like that. So it looks like it's actually a part of a badge, but no, in Blender, it's actually just purely white. It's just a purely that's, white uh, rectangle. That's a beautiful, <laughs> a beautiful thing. I couldn't even tell it like, really. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it looks it's, fantastic. It's, just it's, it's yeah, part of the scene. I think, I think the best thing about um, uh, the going through the artwork that I do is the, the post effects, editing the post effects, because it just really brings it up and you know uh, compositor is good too but you got to connect nodes and then wait for the thing to wait for you know you have to figure it out as well yeah. and then stuff like whereas photoshop you can just bring it in and it's there ready to go and, and uh, it's, it is still an aw product so don't get me wrong yeah <laughs> but um we had derby here <laughs> yeah uh but yeah it's just it's the opportunity to, this, this is what i mean by this is what it goes back to about experimenting and stuff like that and especially the appealing to some sort of, uh, you know, because at, at this time I wanted to, when I made this Kiriko image, it was at the time Kiriko was announced as a hero. Yeah. And quite popular and quite popular. Yeah. 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 So it's almost, like it was, it's almost like it was a bit of a nostalgia back to when Tracer started out and, you know, just wanted to get on the, you know, the Kiriko hype train as well. That's <laughs> good thing as well to remember is, um, if there's any popularity in terms of, I think it's another good way of building it, even though if it steers away from your niche a little bit, like if something, some video game girl or something is stupidly popular, I think another good way is just do a render. So then, yeah, them. get your name out there and like it, get it, your it own style. To bring it out a bit more. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, gotcha. and like I said, it's, 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 this is, this Kiriko image here is, is the result of combination of what I've been saying of creativity while having the knowing of the foundation of the software. Yeah. So, you know, the foundation of the software of how everything works the rest is up to your brain <laughs> yeah like the rest you leave it to the rest of your brain see what it comes up with and voila there you go there's, there's, <laughs> so this is your imagination <laughs> your imagination going wild yeah because the cool thing about 3d is like you can you can make it possible yeah you have the ability, whatever you think yeah. you can make it a whatever reality you, think, you can fuck you can just absolutely fucking do it <laughs> yeah that's the beautiful part of 3d um and just to finish off just a final question um a bit of a a future looking question uh future leaning but what do you think about the future of nsfw art like what do you like do you think like um what do you think is going to happen i guess um i guess do you think it's going to keep growing and uh if so like where like and what what do you think it's going to look like skyrim mods are a perfect example of a never end it won't die yeah yeah <laughs> skyrim mods have to be the perfect example of like I've seen it's some of that shit. What? It's, it's so impressive. I, I think I think in a in a community like this, 
and absolutely with uh with, with very talented people involved and the communication the and the connections we all have with each other i genuinely do not think it will go i think it will stick around i'm, I'm probably going to be in my retirement age and still be doing this to be honest because it, <laughs> it's just too much fun to do um but where yeah. I see it in the future, definitely, definitely, I see it more of as a technology, um, I guess you could say technology perspective, where it's going to be a lot more mature. It's still going to be a bit of a start, a bit of a, I guess, sharp learning curve to learn. Yeah. But we will have a lot more powerful technology to be able to innovate and create things and stuff like that. Um, and with, without steering too much away from the human creativity. Yeah. But it'll be around. It'll stay around as long as, you know, technology is always going to be here to stay. And yeah. with technology comes video games. And with video games tends to come this content. And, and the, there's a saying that um, technology is a blessing and a curse. But uh, the greatest thing about technology is that it allows us to express our creativity. Yeah. And as long as that exists, this will continue to become better and better and just allow people to it, achieve I'm, their I'm dreams. I'm looking yeah. forward to what happens. Like like I'm I'm very grateful to be alive to see what happens. Yeah, it's an interesting am, year. <laughs> yeah, it's it's going to be great. I mean, you got virtual reality already being thing, but it is a little bit premature. It's not a very mature technology yet. But um yeah, we, we will get to a point of maybe full immersion. Who knows? It's, it's a complete mystery, but it's, it's exciting to see what will happen. Where it'll go, like, yeah. Where it'll go, yeah. It's, um, no one really knows. Uh, you know, these, you have these, these uh, prototype technologies out there that are being experimented with and, and whatnot, but in the end, no one can really know what the future holds, but... Yeah, no, I, I, I think that's a good it's, prediction. It's, prediction, though. Yeah, I think it, it's gonna, it's gonna stay. It's here to stay. It's not gonna, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's ever since the, pretty much the birth, you know, the well, the mm -hmm. birth of the rules of the internet and thirty four being, if it exists, there's gonna be porn of it. Then, yep. And since, and since the internet's never gonna go, then yep, this thing ain't gonna go anywhere. It's just yeah. gonna keep getting better and better. Yeah, well, your internet did start with just porn, so <laughs> with a lot of just mm. porn, so I guess it's, it's just I'm continuing that legacy. I'm, more than, I'll be, I'll be, I'm very happy to be alive to see what happens. It's, it's going to be good. Me too. It's going to be a great time. I hope we can stay up to date with developments. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, it'd, be, it'd be awesome. It'd yes. be good. Thank you so much, Goglis, for taking the time to do this interview. I really appreciate yeah. you taking the time uh, out of your day. I hope it's not too much video <laughs> editing for you because I am a bit of a talker. So it's like, no, oh, it's all good. <laughs> of a video file that goes for like two hours long because I can't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's better than nothing. I mean, <laughs> I really prefer that. I mean, I'd just always be really awkward to be like, at the end, just, <laughs> just like, hi, like, what's your name? <laughs> just like the end. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I really appreciate yeah. it. So thank you so much, Goblis. Um, so so please, again, just uh, please do look at Goblis's uh, Twitter like, and support him. Like, so it's, it's Goblis on Twitter and like, support him on his Patreon as well. He has a really, really cheap Patreon tier, like $3.50. So please support him. He's a brilliant artist and like such a kind and caring person willing to share his experiences and knowledge uh, with others. So thank you so much, Goblis. Um, you are very welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah.